Hello, this is Hoofert from Excel DNA. Today we're looking at how to add IntelliSense to your VBA functions. Let's have a look. Uh, as usual, uh, this tutorial is on GitHub at the Excel DNA Tutorials site. Today I want to show you how to add uh, IntelliSense that pops up descriptions and helpful information in the worksheet while you enter uh, formulas that contain VBA functions that you've made. Uh, this is something that uh, is normally not so easy to do, but with uh, the Excel DNA IntelliSense extension, that can be done for uh, functions that are made with .NET and Excel DNA, and also for functions that are made with VBA. Okay, let's have a look at uh, how functions work. I'm going to open Excel and uh, I have a sheet here which has a few user-defined functions that are defined in VBA. Uh, so I've got a function here called temp Celsius. It converts Fahrenheit to Celsius uh, and another one for the other direction and then a simple uh, heat calculation. Uh, let me show you what they actually look like in the VBA editor. Uh, so these three functions are very simple. Um, but what I'd like to show you is how to add the kind of features that built-in functions in Excel have. For example, if I start typing uh, the function names, then for a built-in function like text, I can see the description next to it and I can decide whether I want to use that function. But for my user-defined function, I have no such description. Also, for a built-in function, if I select it by pressing tab, it will show me a little help here with the uh, argument names. But for my uh, user-defined function, I don't get anything like that. The closest I can come is to press uh, Control shift a which will put in the argument name into my formula. Uh, but that's not really giving me the kind of help I want. Okay, so that's the... Uh, type of help inside the sheet when we're typing a, a function. Um, I also want to show you that if we go onto this uh, insert function button, then uh, if a function has a description or if the arguments of the function have descriptions, they are shown in this dialog. I want to show you also how to add uh, these kind of descriptions for your uh, VBA user defined function. Uh, that part is not so difficult. It just uses the application.macro options call. So that is uh, kind of a standard thing. But to add uh, these descriptions uh, into the formula as you type them uh, on the sheet is uh, quite novel. And that is something that this special uh, Excel DNA IntelliSense extension uh, enables. So uh, this is a separate GitHub project, Excel DNA IntelliSense, um, and it is an add-in that will add this in-sheet IntelliSense for uh, functions that are defined in C-sharp or in VB.net with Excel DNA add-ins, and as I will show today, uh, also for uh, functions that are defined in VBA. Um, and then when this IntelliSense uh, add-in is installed and you have the right information available for your function, uh, then you will see uh, the pop-up descriptions as you type the function name and you will see additional help for the arguments as you uh, type along in your function. Okay, let's see how to do that. Um, the first step is we need to install the Excel DNA IntelliSense add-in. So uh, if you go to github.com Excel DNA IntelliSense, then on the right hand side you will see uh, the releases. And if I click there, it will go to the releases page um, where the newest release will be on top. Okay, so in this release there are some notes, but at the bottom it shows me the two uh, add-in files and I have to download and install the correct one. 
depending on which version of Excel I have. So if I have the 64-bit version of Excel, I need the 64-bit one, otherwise just the normal 32-bit version of the add-in. So let me go to my Excel and see whether I need the 64 or 32-bit one. So I go to Excel and I go to File and then Account and then About Excel. And that will show me then details of the exact version of the Excel I'm running. And in particular, I'm interested in whether it is uh, the 64-bit version or the 32-bit version. So depending on that, I will install the correct version of my add-in. I can see I've got 64 here. And uh, so, okay, I will uh, go out of here, but I will go back and say, okay, this is the one I need. Um, and that one I think will now be downloaded. Okay, and now I can open it in Excel. So uh, one option is to drag it into Excel. That should uh, open it, I think. Uh, let us see if, I'm not sure if that worked. I don't know. Um, but another option is to install it as an add-in by going, uh, pressing the magic buttons Alt-T and I, uh, which pops up this add-ins dialog, or alternatively following the menu and going File, Options, Add-ins, and then at the bottom here, go to Manage Excel Add-ins and just pressing Go. It shows me the same dialog and I can browse to my uh, downloads directory where I've got my add-in. Okay, now it is installed and it is available. Okay, so I've got the add-in installed, but now I've got to define the descriptions for my functions somewhere. Um, and so the way that works is by adding an additional sheet to this workbook, which has the function descriptions. Uh, I've got a copy of this workbook already, which has uh, the descriptions uh, in. So let me open that file. Um, it is the one with descriptions. And I will close the old one. OK. Um, and so you see that there is an additional worksheet here called underscore IntelliSense underscore. The exact name is important. Uh, the add-in looks for that exact name. Uh, in this sheet is the description information that will be displayed. Uh, so I'm going to actually just show you how it works first and then we'll come back and look at the exact format on the sheet. So now if everything is working right, then as I type temp Celsius, it shows me uh, this extra uh, description. And as I change, uh, it shows me for the different functions. So my user defined functions now show descriptions just the same way that the built in functions do. And if I pick one of these functions and I press tab to select it, then it shows me uh, not only the function and the argument names, it shows me which argument I'm busy typing, and it shows me that heat delta is the amount of heat absorbed. So it's showing me the description for that argument. Uh, and as I go along, it will show me the different descriptions here. Okay, so that uh, is, is really nice. Let me show you on that uh, IntelliSense sheet uh, where this comes from. Okay, the format of the IntelliSense sheet is like this. Uh, the first cell has to say function info, and the second cell has the uh, version of, of the layout, which is just one. And the third cell is uh, optional. Um, I will read it later and use it as a category name for the uh, function wizard, but it doesn't have to have anything. Okay, then every row after that uh, is the information for a specific function. Okay, so the first row here is for the temp Celsius function, so it's the function name and its description. Then a link to a help page. That's optional, you can just leave it blank otherwise. And then we have argument name, argument description pairs, 
Uh, in this case, there is only one. But for this uh, last function, let me expand it a bit. You can see that for this last function, I've got the function name, description, link, and then first argument name, first argument's description, second argument name, description, third one, description. Okay, so these three rows then define the help for uh, the function here. If I edit this and I change it somehow, then I, I need to uh, reload this workbook because that's when the add-in picks up the changes. We can even try that. Uh, if I say temp Celsius, I think this is too long a description. Maybe I should say uh, just uh, returns the, uh, the degrees Celsius. Let's see, returns the degrees Celsius. Okay, so if I change that, and I save the workbook. I think it will not have changed yet. Uh, temp Celsius. But then if I close and open the workbook, it will, uh, it will do that. Uh, so I'm now thinking if I type equals uh, temp Celsius, it says returns the degree Celsius. So it's picked up the new, um, the new description. Okay, uh, so let me see if I type this function and then I go into the function wizard. Okay, there are no descriptions here yet. Uh, so the Excel DNA IntelliSense is only doing the work of putting it uh, into the sheet when you're uh, typing the function in the sheet. Uh, it is not uh, automatically at this stage uh, registering the macro options part of these descriptions. Um, it is a feature I might add in future. Okay, so, so let me go back to my uh, VBA code. Um, and I want to show you in, in this uh, book, I've got um, uh, this functions, uh, these functions, but I am also going to copy in um, uh, some code and I'm going to have to find it um, on the other file. Let me see if it is uh, on this IntelliSense page. Uh, that will uh, register these function names also with Excel uh, using this macro options thing. So this is the code that I've got here uh, under application.macro options. It is a sub uh, routine that I can uh, add here. Let me make a new module. Uh, I'll call that uh, macro options. And I will put that subroutine in here. So what the subroutine does is it looks for the same underscore IntelliSense underscore uh, worksheet. And it processes this worksheet uh, reading all of that information in the same way, and then it calls application.macro options um, with this information. Um, and what that will do is it will register the uh, functions with uh, the function wizard in Excel. Um, and I can see that my version here is one which doesn't add the category. So I'm just going to add it in here as well. Here we go. Uh, it is a change I made after uh, the writing that uh, um, tutorial, but I will update the tutorial as well. Okay, so now I've got this register macro options subroutine, and uh, it will automatically register all of uh, the, the uh, descriptions. So let me run that. I think that has done it. And uh, let me see if I now go equals temp Celsius and I go to the function wizard. Now it has a description here, returns the degrees Celsius, uh, which is read from the IntelliSense sheet and also descriptions for the uh, arguments. Uh, and for my longer function, I, I have different descriptions for the different arguments. Okay, and even that category uh, that I added there means that if I start with a blank cell and I uh, enter uh, the insert function dialog, 
then I think it will have a category here temperature functions with the three functions and I can pick whichever one and continue from there. Uh, even help uh, on this function will, will work from here or uh, from entering it on the sheet. Uh, if I hover over the name of this function, if I click on it, it will open the web page uh, that I set up in the, that IntelliSense sheet. Okay, um, so that all works very well. Uh, I should say that running this uh, application.macro options code, uh, that saves all of these descriptions uh, into the workbook as defined names. So they all go into the workbook file. So you don't need to run it every time the workbook starts. It's uh, it's it's uh, once it's run it's stored inside the workbook uh, so that's the part that goes with the function wizard and then the IntelliSense part uh, has this extra sheet the uh, IntelliSense sheet can be a hidden sheet so I can uh, hide this and uh, then a user of this workbook would not see it also, if I save the workbook as an uh, add-in file, an Excel add-in file, I think everything will work right. Let's test that. Uh, so let's say uh, I call this an XLAM file now. And I will just call it temp functions add-in. Okay, it's going to save it into my uh, users add-ins directory. I'm going to just let it do that. Um, and now let me see if I, if I, uh, uh, say this one too, uh, I open Excel, um, I don't think it automatically opens that add-in, but if I open that add-in, then I should be able to see temp Celsius. Okay. It's got the descriptions, uh, and it's got, let me see if the descriptions are still in the right category. I don't see it there. It's changed the name. Uh, and it's got, okay, it's got the right uh, names here. So it's interesting that the category name isn't right. I don't know why that is. Maybe because it's a, um, it's an add-in now. Okay, uh, there is one more thing I want to show you, and that is just the, the, there is an alternative way of providing those descriptions. Um, so, if 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 I go back to my uh, initial workbook, it was called temp functions, and it had no special sheet. So, if you don't want to put a sheet inside your uh, workbook then you can also define the IntelliSense information in a separate XML file. Um, and this file just has to have the same name as the workbook. So I'm going to give it the same name as the workbook. Uh, and then .intellisense.xml. And the format for this XML file, well, it's just a text file. Um, and it has XML markup, but showing exactly the same information that we had on that IntelliSense sheet. Uh, so it has uh, function names and descriptions and argument names and descriptions and optionally there's a, a help topic. There's one for example. Um, and so it's got uh, the same information. I think the format is reasonably straightforward. Um, and you can see uh, an example again in, in this tutorial page. Um, I think it's a bit higher up. There we go. Uh, as an example that uh, is a good starting point. Um, and so then if you have the file with the same name as your workbook, well, the same starting point, but then IntelliSense.xml instead of the Excel name, um, then the IntelliSense add-in will pick it up and uh, temp Celsius and uh, fat functions would uh, work the same way here. Okay, so uh, what I've shown you is, is now uh, this IntelliSense uh, on the sheet for VBA functions. And uh, I should say that for 
uh, Excel DNA, .NET based functions, uh, all of this works automatically if you uh, have the IntelliSense component loaded. Um, and so it picks up the IntelliSense information from the attributes that you can add to a function. And so you don't need a separate uh, file or anything like that. Okay, uh, that's IntelliSense uh, for VBA functions. Uh, I hope it is a useful feature for you to make uh, your functions more easily accessible to your users and to yourself one day when you've forgotten what all those arguments are uh, for your function. That's my story for now. Goodbye.